Hi, my name is Mark Speed. I'm the president of the College Band Directors National Association and director of bands at Clemson University. And I'm James Weaver, the director of performing arts and sports for the National Federation of State High School Associations. And together, we are co-chairs of the International Coalition Performing Arts Aerosol Study at the University of Colorado Boulder and the University of Maryland. In the spring of 2002, we embarked on a survey study to determine the effect of recommended, recommended COVID-19 prevention strategies in performing arts classrooms in the United States during the fall of 2021 semester, when the primary COVID-19 variant was the Delta strain. This video will focus on the reported results of re prevention strategies as reported by music program directors. Please see our many resources on the main aerosol study page found in the description of this video. Mitigations seem to be effective in high aerosol producing music activities. However, this study did not account for implementation or non-implementation of mitigations in other school settings or settings outside of the school, which may have affected COVID-19 spread in the student population. Because of these caveats of self-reporting and other confounding factors, we are less sure about what we can say about transmission of COVID-19 in music classrooms during the fall semester of 2021, when the highly transmissible Delta variant was predominant. Given this uncertainty, there are still some positive trends that can be observed from the data collected. As you can see on this graphic, music directors that reported using at least one study mitigation were less likely to report COVID-19 transmission among their staff. This shows that using at least one study mitigation helped reduce the likelihood that music teachers reported testing positive for COVID. The transmission rates among the student population do not show this difference most likely because of behaviors outside of the music classroom that cannot be quantified. In this table, we see the effects of each study mitigation on reported transmission. For each mitigation, transmission was lower. It is likely that using a combination or all of the mitigations would have, ha would have an added effect, although it is difficult to know with certainty without a randomized controlled trial. The net takeaway is that the International Coalition Performing Arts Aerosol Study mitigations had a positive impact on reducing the rates of COVID-19 transmission in the music classroom, especially for the staff. Because of the greater transmission of the Omicron variant during the spring of 2022 semester, we are going to conclude the study at this point. Any future content from the study will be historical in nature to document the study process as a whole. As always, thank you for your attention and for doing what you can to keep music education alive during the pandemic. And as always, if you need assistance with anything moving forward, please reach out to Mark or myself at the emails found in the description below. Best wishes to you all.